Welcome back to Talk Back. We are talking to the former chief of the Pakistan's Army Staff, General Mirza Aslambeg. General Saab, you have also been a big advocate of Iran getting nuclear weapons and nuclear technology. Yes. You've written several times that Iran should have a weapon. Like uh, we had a nuclear capability once India demonstrated its capability. It was a decision made by Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto that come what may, we will acquire it and we got it. Now, Iran is threatened by Israel, which is a nuclear power. Hundreds of nuclear devices they have. So Iran in its own right must have a nuclear capability to maintain that balance. Unless there is balance, balance of terror in the Middle East region, there will be no peace. But critics say that here is a government, especially this, the new government, the Iranian government under President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, wants it completely denies that the Holocaust happened. It wants to, quote, wipe Israel off the face of the earth. Of course, yeah, that is the dichotomy. That having gone through the experience of the Holocaust, which it is right or not, now they are causing this Holocaust on the poor people of Palestine. What happened some months back when they invaded Lebanon, and for five weeks they devastated the entire infrastructure of Lebanon. I understand your position yes. on Pakistan and India yes, the same equation is the case with versus the Israeli and the Middle Eastern equation. Right. I understand your position on that. What I want to ask you is that here is an Iranian president and here is an Iranian government, which is very hardline, which, according to many critics, yes. supports militias all across the Middle East, which, according to many critics, and the pre Iranian president has gone on the record, not once, but a couple of times, and said that he wants to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. The Iranian president had also gone on the record and denied the Holocaust. Are those rational statements for a government to make? What would you expect from Iran? Would you uh, expect some lollipops from uh, the president of Iran thrown at uh, Israel? I mean, this is part of politics. This is part of a diplomacy which has hard tones. It's hardly diplomatic. No, sir. it is. It is diplomacy. It has some hard tones. And these are the hard tones when he said that there were no such thing as Holocaust. Israelis have made themselves the, the, the most suppressed people of the world, whereas they have proved to be the most uh, oppressed, op greatest oppressors of the world today. The way they are killing the Palestinians, the way they are denying them a home, the way they are uh, crushing them day in and day out. I mean, it doesn't show that Israel has ever gone through such experience because if a people had gone under such experience, they would not have been perpetuating the same thing on others. All right. It's also been reported that you, by the AP, and you spoke to AP's Kathy Gannon, and this was published all over the place, that Pakistan's former army chief says Iranian officials came to him for advice on heading off an attack on their nuclear activities. And he, in effect, advised them to take a hostage, Israel. Yes. And that's the policy they have adopted today. You've also said a similar thing about India. You've yes. You've said that if anybody, whether it's the U.S. or Israel or anybody else, if they attack, if anybody attacks Pakistan, Pakistan should nuke India. Do you think this is a rational policy? Of course, yes. This to is take rational. a country hostage this when is, another country is attacking you? Of course, yes. This is what is military strategy. That you deter, and they have deterred Israel attack for taking any such adventure. We deterred India. Would you stand by this policy today when of it comes course, to yes. India? This is the policy today. You would nuke India today if of anybody else attacked Pakistan? And it cannot happen without India taking part in it. Was the A.Q. Khan episode an intelligence failure? Well, I don't think so, because Dr. A.Q. Khan, what he has accepted under duress, you know, he was under arrest. And I don't accept what Dr. Khan said and took on the responsibility on himself. Why don't this you accept what he said? Because, like the judgment, like the verdict of the Supreme Court, that if Nawaz Sharif had accepted to be exiled, it was done under duress and is not permissible, admissible as evidence. Same is the case with what Dr. A.Q. Khan has admitted. Let him be a free man and then tell him to come and say what he wants to say. We have to take a short break. <laughs> We're talking to General Mirza Aslam Beg, who has a lot to say on Talk Back. Stay tuned.